Good morning. How's it going? It's Tuesday, the 7th of September. Yes, it is. We are... I made it to school, the kids to school this morning. Nice long holiday weekend. I wonder what you guys all did this weekend. Um, I'm doing good. I have, um, yeah, we had a fun Labor Day. Um, you know, my, my kids asked me, why, what is Labor Day? Why do we even have a holiday? And I started laughing and thinking, well, it's kind of like a thank you gift for working. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we all get a day off because we are contributors to society in America anyway. That's anyway. Um, and then I thought it was funny that my kids always like save their chores for the whole week until Monday because we say that they can do them on Monday. I don't know why. And so they um, played and hung out and relaxed all weekend. And then last night we were at my mother and father-in-law's having a barbecue and we had to leave because they had not finished their chores. <laughs> and it was getting dark. And so we got home at like, I don't know, 7.45. And then my son's out mowing the lawn and my daughter's washing the car. And I thought, how funny that we're laboring on Labor Day because we put it off all weekend. <laughs> so um, yeah, Labor Day, how was it? How, did you have a good day off? Did you not have a day off? You know, not everyone has the day off, but, um, yeah. Um, I have a bunch of really good news that, um, I'd love to share with you. Um, the first thing is my brain scan came back clear. Yay. That's really good. Um, it wasn't the best, um, experience on Thursday. Um, it wasn't terrible, but my normal radiology tech just wasn't there. And he's like done every single one of my scans. And so it kind of just like threw me off and he's so nice. And we have like this really nice little friendship. And so the lady that was there just seemed like she was in a hurry and she didn't care and she was, she probably wasn't. I just wanted to see my nice tech named Dan because he was such a nice guy, but, um, but it all came back just fine. And you know, sometimes we go through things that are harder than we think they need to be for a reason. I think we're learning that this these last couple of years, like all of us are going through really hard stuff, no matter what it is, no matter if we're losing people we love, no matter if we're losing our jobs, no matter if we're losing our freedoms, if we're um, losing relationships over these crazy times that we were living in. Um, sometimes we go through hard things for a reason. And those reasons are all different, but when it comes down to it, I think when we realize that we can't completely control our lives or what's gonna happen or what people are gonna decide or uh, we have to rely on somebody else. And it's usually a good place to be because 
self-reliant people that we are sometimes need to rely on someone else. So anyway, um, there's my first good news. My scan is clear. Yay. Awesome. Good job. Um, I think I'm good for two years as long as my doctor still holds to that one. Um, so I won't need to do that for a little while, which is super great. Um, the other thing is, is that I know I told you all about our dear friends that lived, that live up in Somerset near Tahoe, right in the middle of the Caldor fire. And we just heard from them yesterday that it's a miracle. Their whole street was untouched. The fire came within a quarter mile on all three sides of them and everything is fine. Um, they did lose one chicken. They have like all these chickens and ducks and everything and one chicken, they lost one chicken. Probably from smoke, I don't know. Anyway, maybe just stress <laughs> because that would be super, super stressful. So anyway, um, we're just really happy for them, thankful that they, um, their property and their house is fine and they haven't been their house for weeks. So I think they get to go back this week and go see what has happened, you know? So, ah, so, so really, really good. So super happy about that. Um, the other... I mean, I don't know if it's called good news, but I mean, I guess it's just what it is. But um, I am celebrating an anniversary this week. My husband and I will be celebrating 22 years of marriage. So that is on Saturday. And um, I think that's a pretty big deal. Half of my lifetime married to my husband. Yes. So we're celebrating and... Um, going to go to Morro Bay. It's kind of about a half an hour from us and um, just celebrate for the night and go out to dinner and walk on the beach. And so, yeah, anyway, so those are my kind of fun things for the week. Um, and goodness, I don't know what else is going on. Um, I don't know what's going on with you. I do know that somebody just commented on my beautiful piano in the background. I do love my piano. But I am sorry to say that I do not play. Well, I guess I can play like um, chopsticks or something. Um, I could play something. Do you want me to play something? I'll play something that I learned in fifth grade my best friend in fifth grade, her name was Stephanie, and she played the piano. And whenever I'd go over there, which was all the time, she had to practice even while I was there. <laughs> her mom was a stickler. Um, I'm not sure if she still plays, but um, she taught me do a deer. I'm gonna play it for you. Okay. Can you guys still see me? I'm right here. Okay. How do you do that? Okay. Again. 
See, I'm so bad. Okay, so you guys, when I do something, when I do something like totally ad-libbed, I totally froze and now I can't even, ah, can't even remember the last part, which honestly, most of the time I'm so good. <laughs> and yes, Sound of Music is one of my favorite movies of all time and I just blew it. <laughs> so, sorry about that. I was totally confident and then all of a sudden I was like, I don't know how this last part goes. I can't remember. <laughs> Um, anyway, well, there you go. Next time I'm going to have to practice that before I go to it. Um, okay. The only other thing that I have for you today is a chapter and, um, um, I think it applies to all of us in whatever situation that you're in right now, this will apply to you. Um, let's see, where are we? Okay. This is from season two, episode 22. And the episode is called going home. This is when a tornado goes through Walnut Grove. And this is crazy because, um, Charles is like going back and forth and back and forth trying to figure out if he, he just is like lost all of his hope because the, the, um, tornado comes through, it takes his crop and he's just like frustrated and doesn't know what to do. And he goes to seek some advice from Reverend Alden. And I just love every time, um, someone goes to the church and asks Reverend Alden, what should I do? And I love it because he doesn't normally tell them what to do. He just gets them to think a little differently. And um, that is what this is all about. This is chapter 47. It's called The Strength to Endure. And we're on page 93, in case any of you guys are following along. Um, and the quote is from Reverend Alden himself, and it says, God does not protect all good people from misfortune, but what he does provide is the strength to see his people through the hard times. And we indeed are living in hard times. So here we go. Why do we expect God to shield us from trouble? We often suppose that if people are good, God will keep problems and tragedies at bay. But the Bible shows us that our efforts to be good don't remove hardship. Consider the Apostle Paul who faced shipwrecks and beatings in prison, and he was a very good man. God doesn't take away the hard times, but he does give us the strength to overcome challenges. It was the same for the Ingalls family. After a tornado sweeps through Walnut Grove, Charles is inconsolable. The twister has destroyed his crops and his hope. He decides to sell the farm and move back to the big woods of Wisconsin. As Charles is praying at the church one night, Reverend Alden encourages him to seek the Lord for the fortitude to not give up. He doesn't give him an answer. He just says, don't give up. My older sister and her husband had a similar experience, but it wasn't the words of their pastor that encouraged them. It was furniture. They lived in the South during Hurricane Katrina. Their house flooded and they lost everything. They began rebuilding, but their hope was running on empty. Finally, their house was nearly done, but the room stood bare. My sister visited her church one day to find a semi-truck filled with hotel furniture it had been donated to bless the victims of Katrina. A few truckloads later, my sister's bedrooms were furnished with mattresses, nightstands, and dressers. As my sister looked around at God's wonderful gift, she regained the strength to keep going. It's startling how wind and water can be so destructive. Whirlwinds of doubt and floods of anger can be just as devastating. Through it all, God comforts us using people and things 
For Charles, it was Revan Alden, and for my sister, a furnished bedroom. When times are tough, open your, uh, open your ears and your eyes to see God's provision. He will give you the strength to endure. And the verse is from 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and it says, What a wonderful God we have, the one who so wonderfully comforts and strengthens us in our hardships and trials. So I don't know what your crazy wind and water that you're going through right now, what is testing you, testing your faith, what is testing your patience, what is, um, what unknowns you're going through, but God gives you the strength to endure. Endure grief, endure pain, endure loss, endure broken relationships. Um, he gives us the strength to endure. So I leave that with you today. I hope that you are um, hanging in there. We're all hanging in there. And you know, we're all doing our best. I think if we can give each other a break, <laughs> we're all doing our best. We're all trying to make the best decisions that we can. So, um, keep your eyes and your ears open to the gifts all around us, the things that um, God is giving us to give us peace, to give us hope. Um, and uh, I hope you have a great week. Um, I will see you next week. I don't know what else is happening. Um, I am doing a, I'm going to hang out with Mark from Walnut Grove cast today. So that's kind of fun, exciting to um, talk to him about an episode of Little House. So um, looking forward to that. And um, sorry that I totally messed up the piano playing today for any of you that thought I was going to be a piano player. No, not. So anyway, I hope you're doing good. 